Hello everyone. Today we are going to go over the steps to create this conical compression spring. A conical compression springs have a tapered body with a large diameter at the base and a small diameter at the top as we can see here on these two drawings. So in order to create this spring we need the larger and the smaller mean coil diameters. We also need the wire diameter. The height or the length of the spring is also needed and the pitch. The pitch is the distance between two adjacent coils. For this problem we're going to assume the pitch is constant. So let's create a new part. This model is going to be in millimeters. So let's change the units. We need to uh, select top plane and let's create a sketch. First, we need to make the larger spring diameter. And let's provide a dimension. Let's make this 100, 100 millimeters. And we can, we can click OK. Next, we, we need to go to curves and select helix and spiral. So before we select the helix and a spiral, it is a requirement to have a, a sketch that contains a circle. And we just did that. So let's go ahead and select helix spiral. The circle is already selected, as we can see here. So now we, we are in the helix spiral property manager under define by where uh, this is going to specify the type of the curve and which parameters we are going to use to define the curve. Since I know the height and the pitch, I'm going to select this option. But if you have, uh, if you know the pitch and the revolution or the height and the revolution, you can select the other options as required. Under parameters, we're going to select the variable pitch, even though we are um, making the pitch constant, this option here is going to allow us to have different spring diameters. So that, that is the reason we select the variable pitch. Uh, this, this table on the um, on uh, on the region parameter parameters this is defined by the by the parameters that we selected under defined by since we have height and pitch this table is going to have the height the pitch and the diameter so uh, as you notice the bottom diameter is 100 that's the one that we created and we cannot change that. So let's input some numbers here. So the pitch, we're going to make this 10. For the next, for the next um, turn, let's make this uh, 20 millimeters height. The pitch is going to be the same. 10. And the diameter, we are going to make that 80 since we're creating a taper shape. You can kind of see um, how it's looking as we filled out that table. So for the next height, we have 10 millimeters. The pitch is going to be the same. And the diameter, this time we're making that 60. Next row, we have 40 millimeters. The pitch is going to be the same. And the diameter, the diameter we can make this um, we can make this 40 and let's create one more row and this is going to be 50 which is going to be the total height of the spring pitch is going to be 10 and the smaller diameter 
going to be 20. So once we um, once we have that, we can kind of uh, have a preview of the of how the spring is going to look. Next, we uh, we have the start angle. This is going to set where to start the first turn on the sketch circle. So this could be um, the angle that you prefer in clockwise or counterclockwise. We're going to be on clockwise. Let's hit OK. Next, we need to uh, create the, the wire diameter um, profile. But before we do that, we need to um, we need to create a reference plane before we create that profile. So on the first reference, we're going to select the spiral. And second reference, we're going to select the beginning of the spiral. So this is going to create a plane at that location. Let's hit OK. Using, using that plane, we're going to create a sketch. And the sketch is going to be the wire diameter. For this one, we can make this uh, 5 millimeters wire diameter. And without exiting, we're going to select the the helix and the center of the of the circle because we want to um, we want to pierce this circle at the beginning of the spiral so select pierce and automatically that will go to um, to the beginning of the coil of the spring now let's hit OK. After we do that, we can go to the uh, swept boss base. For the first, uh, this is going to be the profile, the wire diameter profile is already selected. And for the path, we're going to select the spiral. And let's hit OK. So this is how you create a conical shape spring. We can um, we can uh, hide these lines, and we can also hide the plane or suppress, so we can see the the model in a better way. And this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.